While you're holding that Bible, I got a question for you. Did you eat the two missing cannolis? <laughs> Frank, I'm not gonna let you use the Bible like that. Answer me, yes or no? This is ridiculous. No, I didn't eat those two cannolis. <laughs> When we were casting, everybody loves Raymond. It was just Phil and I. Some days Raymond came in, some days he didn't, but at least on the preliminary stuff, it was just Phil and I on a couch. We're in the basement of Universal in this room, beginning to see actors, and the first woman that we saw to play the role of his mom was Doris. But here's how Doris came in the room. Phil and I on the couch, relaxed, having a day of casting. Now we're up to the, the moms. The door slams open, and in comes Doris, and she gets right in our face and bends over, and she says, this is my fucking part. You better fucking give this to me. I'll fucking kill you. You understand? I want this. This is my fucking part, okay? <laughs> right in our face like this. First we went, oh, my God. Then we laughed. Then she delivered the audition, and she was it. Unfortunately, we had to see a bunch of other ladies, but that was over. It was over. I can't believe Doris, this little woman who I've seen in 30 different jobs, came in like this, and she just... She just nailed us to the back of the couch. We never stopped laughing. What, she left, and we look out, and out the window here was Peter Boyle, utterly lost, again, utterly lost, sweat through his shirt, just walking like this. His family can't find him. He can't find his wife. He can't find his kids. And when he finally came through the door, he was loaded for bear, and his audition was way wrong, way wrong. But he had a tough day. He had a tough day. Um, Anyway, that was a quick and surely unusable Doris Roberts story. But I had to tell it as it went down. Or not. Or not. I just had it at the top of my head, so I told you. Oh, Peter Boyle, we had it, and he told us everything. Did he tell you how flustered he was outside? Yeah. yeah. What did you think when he walked in the door? He was like this. He was like this. Peter gets flustered very easily. He, I've worked with him a lot of times. As an actor, I work with him um, in dream, on Dream Team with Michael Keaton. As an actor, I work with him on The Trial of the Chicago 8. He was uh, David Dellinger. I was Abby Hoffman. Uh, I directed him in Everybody Else Raymond many times and <clears throat> directed him in Santa Claus too. We played Father Time. So we've done four jobs together. Wow, I never thought about that. Yeah, he's a wonderful guy. And he was John Lennon's best friend. <laughs>